Hi guys, and welcome to The Voice of AI. My name's Chris Plant. Today in our Make Your Own Prompt series, I'm gonna show you how to upload another prompt onto Snack Prompts. I wanna help you create a library of cool and useful prompts to use anytime. So let's dive in right now. Okay, so here we are at chatgpt uh, openai.com and up at the top left here, I'm gonna enable my Snack Prompts. Um, if you want to know how to put the Chrome extension on, please go to the link on the top right hand corner now. But today what we're going to do is we're going to start to create our library of prompts. So if we go up here to the button create. Okay, so here we are on our new prompt template. And I'm going to put the title in now. So the title is generate content from any YouTube video or any video at all. What you need to do is pretty much copy the transcript of the video, and then we're going to use this prompt to put that transcript in and to summarize it and to give it a really nice feel to give you extra content for your website. So this is a really good tool and this will be very useful indeed. So I've already created a prompt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that prompt in and paste it straight in here. So here's my prompt. We've pasted in our template here and let's just have a quick zoom in on that, okay? You is for ChatGPT. You are a marketing specialist writing a blog post. The task is to write the short blog post under 500 words in a specific language and elaborate those in more details, the topics of the video and, and optionally discuss the impact of customer support. Don't forget to spell check the document and output the language uh, in HTML format, okay? We're going to do a, a normal text format as well. So here we go. We're gonna go into this area here. You see where the word language is here? I'm going to put the hashtag on because the hashtag creates the standardized tags in the tag box. So we're going to put chosen language in that tag box. And I'm going to enter that. You see it's in yellow now. So I'll just copy that actually because just delete the language. I'll just copy that because we can use that in all the generic places that we need to have the chosen language. So we'll put it in here. This will work nicely and then we will put it into the last position here for the output language as well and press return and then we'll just delete this uh, language code here because it's not necessary. Okay, let's just take that out. And then you can see the format's going to be in HTML. So that's great. Okay, good. So I think everything is okay here. Uh, now we're going to put in the description. So let's just copy and paste the description and you can read that later. I'm just going to put on the topics there. Got business. We're going to put in... Also, language, I want to put in video. And last of all, I'll put in marketing as well, okay? So, perfect, that's good. Right, so I think everything is okay with this now. And you can see that we're ready. I've just added with spell check at the top there just to remind me, and I'll, I'll change the names of these at the end anyway. But here we go, ask the user to enter the video transcript. That's really important to make sure I've got that in the prompt. That was the last thing I forgot. So let's publish that prompt now. Okay, we're ready to go. So what we've got here is uh, we've got a little pop-up and let's just put a logo in there so we can make that look nice. And yeah, that looks great. And I'm gonna save that. Also download that for later to use. And that's great, you can make that yourself every time. Okay, so let's click that shut. And what we'll do now is we'll run this now. So let's give it a go. Let's put in the text uh, English, capital E. And we're going to send that to ChatGPT. Now, the important thing is, once it's asked me, yep, yeah, please enter the transcript, I'm going to go now to, uh, to my video now. So let's choose one from our playlist here. We'll go to the AI-generated sound. Um, and on the bottom right-hand corner, you can see these three buttons, these three little dots. Um, basically, I can click on that to show my transcript. So we're going to select the transcript here. So just all you have to do is just copy that transcript all the way down there and then we're going to take that across and paste it back into ChatGPT where we've got the please enter the video transcript. So pop it in there and off we go. And you'll see straight away that we've got our return there. It's all in HTML format and it's all nicely, neatly corrected. Very interestingly well written uh, from the whole transcript. So that's good. And you can see here what it looks like in HTML. So you can see that it's uh, been put together nicely each one has a paragraph and its header so that's what you get out but what i've also done here is i've thought about it as an html format so i've got that prompt ready so you can see 
we just have a recap here just quickly click on that there let's go to the edit function and you can see that's exactly what we've chosen before we've got the chosen language and the output is html but what i've also done is i've created in plain text also so if we click on plain text here okay so you can see that now we've got the plain text version so here i'll edit this one as well so you can just see what i've done is i've changed the output format from html simply to text so that's going to mean that when we just do our chosen language in this one in the plain text we can simply type in again english put in any language you want send that to chat gpt okay so here we go we got the transcript we've already got that in our memory so let's paste that and off we go again and now we're going to get it in plain text so rather than html you can see there we go introduction impact on customer support conclusion and we've got a nice word count of 499 so guys, well, that's all for today. So thanks really for watching the video. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel for more AI related content and tips. And join me on the journey to unlock the potential of AI. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want me to make a prompt for you, just let me know. And I'll see you next time. All the very best. I'm Chris from The Voice of AI. Cheers and bye-bye now.